back to the information and conversation with Matt. This is your Houston Morning News. KTRH News Time is 747. And joining me, uh, one of my buddies, Fox Business anchor Lou Dobbs. Lou, welcome back to Houston's Morning News, my friend. Well, thank you very much, Matt. Uh, you and I had a chance on your show Friday to talk about the uh, Occupy Wall Street, and we've uh, got the Occupy Houston going on. These things popping up uh, all over the country. What's What's interesting, Lou, is that I've noticed that uh, the Democrats uh, have begun to kind of line themselves up a little bit uh, with this particular group. You think that's a good idea? I think it's been the plan all along, Matt, uh, to be honest with you. And Reverend Al Sharpton will be broadcasting from Occupy Wall Street today. So uh, the, the, the the people's revolution uh, looks like it's building here. And, and so, you know, and we see it moving into Hawaii. Now, Lou, if I was going to occupy any place, I would occupy Hawaii. That would have been the first place I would occupy. I think that would have been a far better choice than Wall Street, frankly. But the message, Lou, and you and I talked about this on Friday, the message is a little fuzzy. We're not exactly sure what these people actually want. I mean, we, we don't really know for sure. Yeah, I, you know, their, their, their messages are contradictory. They're ambiguous. But I, I think the message that's really coming through loud and clear right now, Matt, is, is perhaps not the message they want to convey, but it is the central message, and that is this is George Soros, the Service Employees Union. This is uh, principal left-wing groups, including MoveOn.org, uh, AdBusters.org, a Canadian revolutionary radical uh, you know, left-wing outfit. Uh, this is about setting uh, into place a foundation, a springboard for a strategy for the re-election of President Barack Obama through, uh, I believe, uh, a, a very radical strategy. Yeah, and, and I would agree with you. Luz, if you would be kind enough, uh, hang on for us uh, just one second. I want to ask you a little bit about some of the things uh, that have taken place over the weekend since you and I uh, last spoke, especially sure. where this ha- whole uh, discussion of uh, Romney and Mormonism uh, is concerned. Lou Dobbs joining us here this morning. We'll get to that right after we get to traffic and weather together. The conversation continues on Houston's Morning News with Matt Patrick. KTRH News Time 753 joining us from Fox Business. It's Lou Dobbs. And uh, Lou, it is great to have you on with us uh, this Monday morning. Thanks. Always great to be with you. Uh, Lou, let's talk a little bit about uh, this discussion of Mitt Romney again and uh, his Mormon religion. Uh, right. The Values uh, Voters Summit that took place in Washington, uh, this uh, this minister comes out uh, from Dallas, uh, Robert uh, Jeffress, and he says that Mormonism is a cult. This is after he introduces Perry. Perry's got to distance himself uh, from this. I, I, I see this as the left, and the left runs this up. I, I'm sure you watched a lot of the, uh, the talk shows on Sunday uh, and over the weekend. I mean, this was all they talked about, Lou. You know, it seems like the simpler and the dumber the issue, uh, the more the talk shows gravitate to it because it doesn't take any heavy lifting. Uh, look, we, we should be so far beyond this that it's ridiculous. You know, this pastor making his comments, he's entitled to his opinion. Should it become part of the national agenda? <laughs> you know, I don't think so. I think there are a few other issues we could take up, including 25 million people being out of work, what we can do to restore prosperity. Uh, look, Mormonism, you know, people could go through any number of religions and ridicule them if they right. wanted. Sure. You know, Catholics have pointy hats. Uh, you know, Baptists, uh, you know, make all these uh, <laughs> peculiar chanting, uh, you know, gospel songs. I, I mean, you could go through it in any way you want. Uh, the reality is uh, that it's an established religion. Uh, Romney is a, a, a great person. I've known, uh, you know, I grew up among Mormons uh, in, in southern Idaho. Uh, these are good, hardworking, decent people. I mean, right. I don't understand what the deal is. Well, we again, need more people, uh, you know, expressing their religion and practicing their religion, not others, and, and particularly religious leaders, trying to stomp on, uh, you know, other people's religion. It's just, uh, it's unseemly, and I, and I frankly think it's un-American. And I, I believe, Lou, that again, it is being used as a distraction, as you and I uh, watch over the weekend. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, why in the world are we spending this much time on this? But, you know, it distracts away from the economy. And as you said, some of the issues uh, that this administration is going to have to answer to as uh, we get closer to the election in 2012. Yeah, there's so many issues. 
issues uh, this administration has to answer for. Uh, Michael Goodwin, the Pulitzer Prize winning uh, New York columnist, uh, with a terrific piece yesterday in the New York Post on, on, on a president who's, in, who's frankly, uh, insular, has, seems to have isolated himself. Uh, we have some deeply troubling developments in this administration, yeah. uh, and we need to be examining them carefully, our national media, and instead of going off on these ridiculous uh, tangents. I agree. Fox Business, uh, Lou Dobbs joining us again this morning. Lou, it is always a pleasure to have you on. Thanks so much, Matt. You are very, very welcome, and uh, we'll continue our discussion about exactly that. That was the discussion over the weekend, what this uh, pastor from Dallas said.